everyone has had a lovely week so far. Um, I'm busy. We are really, really busy at the moment. Today is actually Owen's birthday. If you joined me on Tuesday over on um, Facebook for my live video, um, I did mute that, I promise. Uh, you will know uh, we made Owen's birthday card together and I popped the replay here on YouTube. So thank you for everyone who's joining me so far. My name is Ellen Woodbridge. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. So I am a little bit north of Sydney. Um, hey Shaz, I'm a little bit north of Sydney, um, about an hour on the hmm, questionable central coast. Hey Jen, not sure how the weather's going at the moment. It's sunny, it's not. I've got two loads of washing on the line in the hope they get dry. Hey Bev, how are you? So today, I had no idea what we were doing this morning. All last night, I'm there going, what do I do? Oh, I was just kind of stuck. Um, yes, thank you, Jem, for asking Shaz that question. We will catch up with her in the uh, comments. Thank you. Um, and I thought, oh, I haven't played with my red and white glimmer paper, which is six by six in the holiday catalog. And then I went, oh, I was flicking through my dies for inspiration, actually. And I really, really love this die in the Artisan um, Editions. Hey, Sheila. Um, in the Artisan Editions dies in the annual catalogue. Oh, good girl, Jen. You ride those kilometres or miles. Welcome, Jenny. How are you? Um, and I thought, right, I'm going to use this with the glitter. I got that far last night. Then this morning, I went, right, I've chosen those two things. What are they going with? So I actually got out, and this is a good tip. I'd got, sorry, oh, get my hand on it. Um, this is a good tip. We all have these creative blocks. I got two, two steps in. I went, dye glimmer paper which is like the bling the specialty it can't be everything however much we want bling to be everything it can't be everything so i went right what can i pair with that it's an open it's an open die so i thought i want something to go behind it i went do i want it to be cardstock hmm, maybe not so i grabbed out, very slippery, my annual catalogue. And I went to the design. Oh, okay. I'm glad there's, I'm glad there's an improvement, Shaz. I went to the designer series paper pages. Okay. So shows all our designer series paper. And knowing I had red and white to play with, I went, hmm, What's going to work? So I have grabbed out one out of, because I thought we'll make a couple of cards, because I'm hoping they will be simple. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I can't, yeah. Okay, I've crossed my fingers. Fingers, fingers crossed they're going to be simple. Um, <laughs> not like you at all to be in bed watching me at silly o'clock shows. Not at all. Um, so... I grabbed out a couple of things. I grabbed out the gorgeous brush stroke paper. Now, this paper is a specialty paper. I will show it to you. And it kind of reminds me of textured wallpaper. And it has a shimmer to it. And I thought, oh, that would look really good with the glimmer paper. And I thought, right, one. And then I grabbed out... Pretty prints. Now this has a print because we're putting two prints together. So this has a print, but it's not too much. And it's got gorgeous purple print. As you can see, um, I used the green print, which has like a bazillion greens in it. Um, I used the green print for a Christmas card. Very, I think the month this came out. 
I um, used this way back in May. I used this for a Christmas cup and I really want to use some purple because I love purple. And then I thought, okay, that's two cards with the white with a question mark. We've got the red glimmer paper. What am I going to do with that? So I want, and they're going, mm, it's a really nice rich red. So I thought, mm, I want a really nice rich green. So I grabbed out the boughs of holly paper and we're going to use that for a Christmas card. And that's as far as we've got. I have half thought about stamp sets. Hey, Bonnie, how are you? Hey, who was it that said hello? It was Corinne that said hi. Thank you for sharing, Corinne. Um, if you've made it this far, please give me a thumbs up and also um, share. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my video. So that's where I'm up to with our projects that we're going to make. I'm going to interlude with a little bit of an ad which is about what's going on with stamping up at the moment we have the starter kit or the joining kit um we have it on special so in australia you join for 169 dollars and at the moment you get an extra 48 dollars of value in the starter kit now you don't need to start anything by joining stamping up you get lots of perks i'll tell you about one of the perks in a sec um and you get a discount off your stamping up products who doesn't want discount in the current climate um where things are being astronomically more expensive than what they used to be i still want to craft i know you still want to craft join my team get a discount 20 percent 20% starting discount. I'm on 25. It's the top discount. Um, but if there's a special, like say there's 20% off something or take the 10% off bundles, I get my 10% off the bundle and I get 25 demonstrated discount. So when I buy a bundle, I'm getting 35% discount winning, winning. And that helps me keep crafting. Um, and I want to help you as well. So you get $283 worth of value in the kit. Now you can choose anything you would like out of our current catalogs, but there's something that isn't around yet that you can add to the catalog. Now, have I put that card somewhere? Yes, I have. I shared this on a video last week, um, but we get a demonstrator perk of pre-releases so normally the month before we have a product release we can pre-order these products so we can play with them we can have things set ready to go if we want or we can just get them early and go oh they're pretty and look in the box and keep going with life which quite often happens and i know a lot of my team go oh, i must have it and then life gets in the way so that is the fitting florets collection so two of these products are going to be hey margine two of these products are going to be going into the january to june mini catalog which is the stamp set and the dies and then um november through till the 4th of january we have three products we have these swirl embellishments a christmas sentiment stamp set and designer series paper that will be available while stocks last or till the 4th of january now if you sign up as a demonstrator now today you can add these to your starter kit and have them before anyone else i did do an unboxing if you want a closer look at everything except for the embellishments hey paula and i made this card so i've used some uh, silver foil on that some vellum some heat embossing we had lots of fun this was a viewer choice card this was lots of fun um i don't think i would have got here i don't know it was fun using brand new products with you guys to guide me along so if you have any questions about joining i do have a link 
in the, now I have a hair in my mouth. Um, I do have a link in the video description or reach out to me and I will happily answer your questions. Finish of ad, nine minutes later, let's make some cards. So tell me where to start, Christmas or non-Christmas. I'm not putting up a poll, just tell me Christmas or non-Christmas and that is where I will start today and I'll let you get your comments in while we flip around, get situated and I also have to turn off my light. Oh, straight off the bat Christmas. You guys aren't getting sick of all the Christmas stuff, stuff I'm sharing yet. I have had a couple of people say, oh, really? All this Christmas? Wow, Christmas, okay. That is where we shall start, my lovelies. Okay, I just need to... Oh, God, that's definitely unanimous. Just need to move this paper for a sec. Just so I can get this how I would like it. And whoop. Okay, I think that zoom will be okay, but I will check uh, with my replay. One second. And do you know what? I am so far behind on this. Ah, that's because I've got to press the live button at the bottom. Okay, I need to shimmy this down just a touch and I think I'm good I think I'm just a titch crooked you need more ideas different designs if possible okay hopefully today's one will be a bit of a different design okay bowels of what I might do I'll quickly go through all the paper so then if someone can only afford so much time, they know what we're playing with today and then they can come back and watch it later. This is the Bowels of Holly paper. It's available in the mini catalogue, so the one that ends on the 3rd of January. And this has gorgeous poinsettias, gorgeous trees, it's very, very traditional. Now, I am pulling out this one because I think it's one of the contenders for what I thought we might do today because it is that gorgeous green. And I think if I use this one that has more of a leafy pattern to it, it will get lost with the frame we're going to use over the top. And we also have this one that we I have already used a lot of because I loved this polka dot and I did use it on a card that I've shared here. So if you ever want to search my YouTube channel, you can just uh, go to my go to my uh, main page and type in what you're after. So whether it's Bowels of Holly, Pretty Prince. I know I haven't done a video on Pretty Prince until now, um, but you can do that, and everything will come up that I have done. Good morning, Leslie. Oh, no. It just kept buffering. That's not good. Hopefully, it's okay now. So, this is Pretty Prince. This is in the annual catalogue. So, the colours, there are like a bazillion colours in this. Because, as you can see, it is multicoloured. But, let me see. I'm calling this one... Coastal Cabana. It's Coastal Cabana with, and I've lost it, uh, sorry, no, Calypso Coral, and there's Petal Pink and Sweet Sorbet as well. Other three colours they're saying with this one. So this is the purple. Oh, how gorgeous is it? There are a couple of different prints, um, and we do have 
big 12 by 12 prints that are perfect for um, scrapbooking pages in here as well. Pop that in. Um, and this is definitely Blackberry Bliss, Rich Razzleberry. Wow. Oh, Lavender's home from the first exam of the day. So we will find out how that went, which is exciting. She has another exam this afternoon. Oh, that one's the same. I thought that one was different. It must be the next print that is different. And she has another exam this afternoon. So the two English papers are done. And then I think we have music this afternoon. And we have just a plane on the back. Now, I am thinking this leaf pattern will look beautiful under leaf so leaf or leaves or leaf so plural i have to make it different and then we've oh we've got that splodge on the back then we've got some daffodils how did it go he said very easy oh good english exam was good awesome Whew, that means less stress for this afternoon and then we've got evening evergreen so love may come in i think she's um we i said come home or go get some lunch and reset and then be ready for your exam this afternoon i know i love the purple too now you understand i remembered i had it and i went yes this is what we're going to do leaves okay they are such rich and beautiful colours. So that's the Pretty prints paper. And this is the brush stroke. Now, I think in my paper share, this isn't even open. Because in my paper share, I completely exhausted this paper. And this is the first time. I've used both the other ones before. But I have not used this brush stroke before so just bear with me while i get my scissors in here and give it a oh my dear word it doesn't want to play today <clears throat> we're just gonna rip there we go Sorry for the ASMR there, but so this is a thinner paper. So you can hear me really rustling that. Where with this, this is not so much of a rustle and it has a bit more to it. So this is a specialty paper. And let me check the colours on this. It is... Blushing Bride, Night of Navy, and Soft Succulent. So I was thinking using the Night of Navy. Can you see the shimmer in there and the pattern? You can. Shows up really well on screen. And this is the Soft Succulent. You just get a sheet of each. This is the Soft Succulent. Like, just gorgeous. And the Blushing Bride. So great for accents, we are going to go whole hog and use a card front size because I can and I love it. Now I have chosen to keep this chipboard piece in my paper holder just because it's such thin paper. Um, I do not, even though it is protected in the sleeve, um, I don't want it to... Um, to be damaged and i do just put a medium um, one of our medium clear envelopes in my pouches just to put any scraps in so they're kept together and if i always look through my scraps first before i start so our pretty prints and our brush stroke i'm going to put to the side because we're going to use those not first. I've told you all the colours off my list. And I'm going to cut a card front of our Bowels of Holly. I think that's 
I'm double checking my names. Bowls of Holly right now. So I cut at 10, which is half a centimetre smaller than the card front. I haven't chosen any card fronts here. Um, I've That's the base colour I haven't chosen. I just go half a centimetre smaller, but anyone using other card sizings will go a quarter of an inch smaller. I get them off Amazon Cindy. If you give me a second, I will put it in the chat and I will put it in the video description straight away. This, I don't get any kickback for this. This is just something... I bought these many, many, many moons ago before I even did Stampin' Up! when I was a scrapbooker. I um, got them from you from eBay, from an Australian lady. And this Australian lady now no longer sells them, um, which is a bit sad because I do like supporting an Aussie business um, and she no longer does them. Hey Bobby, how are you? So the link is up in the video description and here it is here. So these, my paper pouches are available from Amazon. Any um, Stampin' Up! products you'd like to purchase from me and you're in Australia, I do have a pinned post at the top of the chat and if the live chat isn't up yet when you're watching the replay, I do have all the links to join, to shop, to all my social media in the video description, okay? Um, I'm going to leave this out but I'm going to discard of the piece of paper that I don't need. I'm going to grab our red and white glimmer paper. So have a gander at this. Oh, so nice. Sorry, gander is such an Aussie word. It's gorgeous. My pleasure, Cindy. I only, um, we were only talking about them last video. So it was very easy for me to go and grab that. Now, I don't want to waste a whole lot of my 6x6. Six six, so I'm going to get a measurement here. So I want to go uh, a titch. If I go 8.2 and then if I go 12. So 8 by 12 so you can see here the red is going to be gorgeous on that and if i just go eight which is a little bit over three so it's not going to be perfect but we're going to be left with quite a chunk we can still use now what did i say that other measurement was did i say 12 yes i said 12. And while I've got this out, and what I should actually be doing is cutting the back. That stops with glimmer paper. By cutting the back, you're cutting the paper. And that stops you dulling your blades. So I'm also going to do this. Do my white piece as well. And flip it over. I used to, and I probably still have it stashed somewhere. I just didn't think about it. I have a blade. Um, if you're worried about dulling your blades, um, you can have a blade just for your um, just for your glimmer paper, and you can just put a dot or something on it that shows it is just for that okay so one and i just need one more because this white is gorgeous and it's just going to be nice and uh, neutral on those uh, rich backgrounds it's really really going to stand out in 12. and then we'll do all our die cutting at once so then we've got that all done. We've die cut our um, feature die cut pieces. 
Now, I was thinking for our Christmas sentiments of using the brightest glow. But from you, I would love to know which sentiment out of the brightest glow stamp set you think I should use. Because there are so many good ones in there. And I keep gravitating towards certain ones. And I'm not going to tell you which ones they are. So I'd love your opinion. Because there are so many beautiful um, sentiments in there. Oh, Bobby, for those in the Americas. Ah, thanks, Bobby. Yeah. Oh, you got... Oh, dear, Corinne. Now he has a red hand. Oh, dear. Yes, the blends can be, they, yes, they do get everywhere. Thanks for your help, Bobster. Love it. So we're doing die cutting. I've got out my stamp and cut and emboss machine and I've got out the plates that we need. So we need plate one, which is basically our base plate. I've got plate two and it tells me it's the die cutting plate. And if I have a look down on here, I want to use a thin die. It tells me I need one, two and two threes. So I've got one, two and I've got two threes. So I love on the machine, it tells you exactly what you need. Hello, Miss Lorraine. You and I do organise very much the same, Bobby. Some would say we've known each other far too long. In the nicest possible way, of course. Because Bobby got me my... Um, my... Bobby got me... Yeah, got me pointed in the right direction for my Avery... Um, my Avery job ticket holders because at the time I don't know if they still are but at the time they were very very hard to source okay I am just going to pull this back through I like that there was an lol and not an actual yes I've known you too long in there now this doesn't look like anything I'm just going to grab my handy dandy spatula here and I'm sure I can have a look at the back and see that that is all die cut really, really well. I'm just going to put it carefully over here while I die cut the others. And one piece has already fallen out, so it can just go in my rubbish bin. Look at this fine. It's not quite centred. Otherwise, it would have made a really nice frame. Um, next white. Nine years at least, I know. It's pretty scary, Bobby. So you've known Owen since he was like seven. Wow. Because for those who missed the start, it's Owen's birthday today. If you missed my video making his birthday card... That is my last video here on YouTube. Or you can watch it with comments. Um, you can watch it with comments on my Facebook page. So hopefully he's having a lovely day at school with his mates. Oh my God. No, Corinne. I can't do it. The keeping that many pieces that's in here would drive me absolutely batty oh my god you are a better one than me now oh you can really see it here but before i do oh, the guy crow i've got all the windows open because it's a beautiful well the frames come off it's a beautiful windy day so i said to david let's air the house now one pass through that cut perfectly as well and once again it dropped one piece and deal with the bits later i just want to get all this initial cutting done now this one i did to the 
I wasn't thinking when I was cutting because I was chatting with you guys. So I wonder what all yumminess lavender is going to cook for lunch. I know I won't be included and that's okay. I also forget what time her second exam is today. But I do know it finishes at three o'clock, which is after school time. So I have to remember it does cut like butter, Bobby. I cannot believe. Bobby has only just got the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And he said, why didn't you tell us about it earlier? It's like, we did. And he wasn't listening. He wasn't in the frame of mind. <gasps> Ooh, that's nice that you got to talk to Esther. Yes, Bonnie Owen did love his birthday card, which was awesome. Okay, that worked perfectly as well. There's a perfect circle there. But no, I will not be keeping these bits and bobs. Now, I have a funny feeling I'm going to be die cutting the sentiment when we get there. Guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to attach adhesive sheets to the back of this. I just thought about it. Literally went, oh yeah, I was going to add adhesive sheets to the back of these to make them stickers. <clears throat> so when you're using intricate dies like this, I highly recommend that you back the material that you're going to be using on adhesive sheets okay because then you have a whole sticker and it's all sticky and it will still cut like butter because it is very thin um but yes that's my recommendation do as i say not as i do and we do um we do sell the sticker sheets as well the adhesive sheets okay because there are so many bits and i'm so glad i didn't run and get that phone because i think it was a spam call now i am very lightly just rolling over this so i've rolled over the back now i'll roll over the front i'm trying not to use pressure because I don't want it to curl too much. But you can see the gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Okay. I'm trying not to get bits all over the floor. Because bits all over the floor means Ellen might slip. And um, no one needs to see that. Or have that happen. Okay, now just these last little ones as I try not to poke myself. They just literally need poking. Then they're, they're cut. They're just being stubborn little things that, see, they're just holding on in like one spot. But how gorgeous is that? So shimmery like the shimmer on that is stunning but it's okay there's enough there's enough thicker bits that i can use our liquid adhesive um to adhere it quite well and use my f block to hold it down so trying not to use much pressure here but i really want to go in there and do it but i also don't want the paper to um to buckle so doing it both sides seems to get majority of it out now i don't think the foam ended up helping there at the end because there are so many bits and look uh, alicia was alicia or shaz i'm more than happy to pop these bits in an envelope and send them to you and wish you all the luck in the world paper piecing them back together because um yeah or was that you bobby no 
Bobby, that drive Bobby bonkers. That actually would. Just one more here. That's it. Now for our gorgeous real red one. Now, light hand. That you can see them. It looks like I've I'm using a heavy hand, but I'm really actually not. Um, it's just I just put my finger on there to um, for some stability. Okay. Oh, even that one's just jumping out by itself. Just a few little stray ones. They're really ah, there that one. Bit harder to see on the red for some reason. Oh, that one there. I'm sure there are other bits you're all screaming at me. So did we decide which sentiments? I'll have to scroll back and see uh, which sentiments you guys decided on. Let me just scoop all of these. See, everywhere. Scoop all of these into the rubbish. Thank you. Yes, Artisan Edition dies. Thank you. Oh, Ellen, yes. So this is the whole set of dies that you get. So this one cuts out the panel. I have done a video where I use all, I've used these two. This one cuts little slits to make a texture on a card. And this one cuts into the card and you get that singular die cut. It's a singular die set itself. It doesn't go with anything else in the catalogue. Just a FYI. Me oh. Merry Christmas. Sorry, Bonnie, I was just doing that. Uh, no one, okay, the Merry Christmas it is because I've scrolled back and Cindy's choice because she got there so quickly. I'm finding more of this. This would make great confetti. Like, throw it up in the air. My bag's not cleaning it, but yeah, great confetti. Merry Christmas. Ah. Ah, right. I've got it set up because I'm using it for one of my class cards. So this is going on this. And then let me grab my... Grab the Stamparatus. I am not going to be moving it because it is set up for a very particular card. So, uh, it says real red, so we shall grab our real red ink. Oh. Where is it? Real red, it's under the cherry cobbler. <laughs> I know Bev I'm just looking at it thinking oh my god my head is going to explode okay I'm thinking this is going to be I know this is a really big piece but we've got a big sentiment and if I choose to do a circle or something I really want to have the room around this to um make that cut whoa way over here ellen way over here oh, this is sticking to everything because everything around me is magnetic jeez oh, louise right oh no we're going back a little bit oh and do you know what? I actually need to take out my deluxe mat, which you can buy separately, because um, we already have the we already have the foam in the stamp itself. Okay.
I can do that, but then it take away, because we're going to be covering up the die cut with this sentiment, um, which obviously I have gone straight for white with the red. So we are going, oh, that's stamped perfectly first time. But just for good luck, we're going to do it again because we're using the Stamparatus. Stunning. Stunning, stunning. Now pick this up. Pick this up. No, it's not going to pick up. Let me just... You got it here on your desk. I'll pull it to the side. Right, I've got that off. And I probably will use a white card base. Um, yes. Oh, thank you, Shaz. Yes, I love all the thumbs up. They make me happy. They're like love hearts in a live video on Facebook. It's you showing me your love. But I see what you mean. Or, or um, do we use a piece of vellum? Connie. So a piece of vellum will achieve exactly what you're thinking of without, without losing this piece isn't the right size. But, oh, maybe it is the right size. So can you, do you know what? I don't like it. I normally like vellum, but I'm thinking... Just like that. With I'm going to do half and half. So tell me with vellum or without. Because you can see it side by side. And I'm going to find something to cut this with after I close the ink pad. So I want to keep the rest of the card fairly simple. Because I don't want to take away. Without. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> without yeah vellum isn't always the answer although 90 okay let's say let's be generous and say 90 percent of the time vellum is the answer today it is not okay i'm so glad you didn't hear me internally groaning there Okay, Stylish Shapes is always something we can use, but I feel the circles are going to take away way too much. Stitch rectangles, I don't think they're going to work here. Seasonal, seasonal labels, maybe. I, I have my go-to labels. Golden Beauty, nope. Decorated Pines, nope. Tree Rings, all that. All that may. I, mm, I don't mm, I don't know if that one. We have to do some trial and error. So this is what I do. I think Scallop Contours is too busy because we've got... We've got that. Oh, deckled rectangles might give us a nice deckled edge. Hence the deckled rectangles. But I know I'm looking for something right in particular. Painted labels. I was thinking this one. It would just give that elegant tick to what we're after. I don't think I must play with the pretty pop-ups again. Do you know what? They're going to go sideways. So I remember that I want to show you those maybe in a video next week. Eden, no. I like visiting my friends at the back because if they're at the back, it means they haven't been used in a while. Oh, 98%. Okay, I was going to go 99%, but yes. 
Oh, thank you for doing page numbers and everything, guys. You're the best. You help each other out so much. I love it. Okay, so now I open the packs and work out what's going to work. Because this... Okay. That, that Now, that looks really, really pretty. But when I translate it as size onto here... It takes up quite a bit of size. Like, when you look at it, it takes up quite a bit. But style-wise, they match each other really well. And I thought the rounded corners of this one would also work. So you've got a couple of considerations to look at. See that? Or, uh, no, that works. See, the Merry Christmas, the, the Merry Christmas, the, all that works. It's tight, but then what I want, maybe it's a bit too tight, because if it had a little bit on, no. It works, but I think it needs a bit of space to breathe. Um, You mean this one? Yes, it does. Good, good catch, Corinne. Uh, it just, mm. okay, is that too squishy? I thought I'd eyeballed it and said it was too squishy. Just let me put this away. And I can just go there. I think it's too squishy. Because it would have to go like that. And I have, it will cut off the C and the S. Seasonal labels. I think we're going to be down to this. Both very deco. Yes, that's what I was kind of going with. And I last Friday, I um, went out for, to lunch with a friend. My best friend. my older, One of my oldest friends. Well, actually really besides family my oldest friend um and we went to a gorgeous art deco um see that one fits nicely and it's not too big where the next one up would be too big so this doesn't leave an embossed edge and it goes here I got kind of leaning towards the painted label other uh, painted labels diets um and the page number on this is wrong because it came in a mini first that's good but i just think i really love the shape of this i don't know what it is i'm really really drawn to that and this gives a gorgeous embossed edge so both work seasonal labels work and the painted labels work I'm just going to the yeah and I'm not even going to try the deckled rectangles but they would work as well look we, we have options I, I do have a thing I look, the label dies I just love having them okay let's get our machine back out or back up off the floor where i left it lovingly yes paula i agree but you know i'm just feeling something in particular i just love the even space between this like if it's it's like made for it it's like yeah Okay, so for this, I am going to sandwich this down. And my handle just moved. I'm going to see if I can. I move this and my handle just moved, which was lovely. Yeah, I can't get it on the thing. But I normally push it in until I can see the handle move. And that's when I go, yep, we can go for it. 
in my plate so obviously I've been cutting dark things <sighs> they will come out trust me and see you get those pretty edges they're so pretty right recycling it just means I've got to soak these plates in hot water and give them a scrub and that will get out all the extra cardstock just scrubbing them with a scrubbing brush follow my heart thanks Paula appreciate the support okay whoops I just pulled off two dies never a good thing to be pulling off the extra dies okay I am going to put this away because I don't want to lose any more but painted labels for the win thank you so much um i want and i'm already going for landscape i think but we will check both ways a thick whisper white card base to mimic the whisper white that i already have here and folder we're fairly neat so far, guys. I'm very impressed. No one's stolen anything and I've got a fair bit of space. So I think this will give, I just need my eraser, just to, this is a normal wide eraser, just to get those bits off. Yep, they're off. It's pristine. Okay, so let's just lay it out before we stick anything down. Look, we might be going for a bit of longer video today. Not that I have time for it, but I said I'd make three cards. Maybe the next two are going to be uber simple. I mean, this is uber simple. So, oh, yes, that is just gorgeous. Now, let me look through the camera lens, and I am loving the white. I am actually loving the white. So, let's commit with some glue. And then, embellishment wise, I have, oh, actually, I have something. That will work perfectly and it's my favourite kind of sequin. It's a confetti style sequin. I'm pretty sure I have some white ones. Okay. Now, this one I'm just going to grab my silica mat. And I'm just going to hit these every second, one of these spots. And just, I'm just trying to get a small enough bead to go around this frame. I'm trying not to get it on my sleeve, apparently. I don't think I did, but I think it might have been a bit close. Okay. Try and centre this as best I can without getting glue. But I think that's not too bad. And it really is only the edges that it's just this little edge here just going to check before it all goes to awry with my t-square ruler look that isn't too bad i'm just going to see if i can pull this side down a titch I know it's not totally even, but it's the how straight it is. Look, 
I made that pretty close to perfect. Now we need some dimensionals. Now we're still using the dregs of dimensionals, scissors, scissors. I know they're here on my desk. Early espresso, everything is out of stock. Oh, I don't know what we have out of stock here in Australia. I haven't checked today. Let me check that, Bobby. No, wrong screen. I haven't checked. I don't know if that's an issue here. Hmm. Bizarre. Okay, ordering uh, inventory status report. So I'm just going to use these two strips. No, the gold adhesive back swells are still not available. Oh no, soft succulent cardstock. <gasps> the sacrilege. I love that cardstock. And low inventory iridescent rhinestone, some evening evergreen, polished pink, soft succulent, small grid pad paper, the wintry 3D embossing folders, which are gorge. They are the snowflakes and the um, leaves, so the more um, pine needle leaves style. Okay, so... I can definitely line this up a little easier here because I have lots of landmarks on this that we can hit or cover up. Okay. I think that is as close as we're going to get it. And these are the embellishments. So these are called seasonal sequins. And you've got gold, you've got uh, shaded spruce, you've got white, and then you've got um, a red, which I want to say is Poppy Parade. But these have a little bit of iridescence to them. Now I'm questioning whether I just go with gold or I know the iridescence is not going to work. But I'm thinking just a titch of gold. It adds shine, but these aren't like super uber, uber, oh my God, uber shiny. And I just love the confetti style that does not have holes in it and these are already got a glue dot on them so we don't actually have to do anything we just lift them off and stick them down and I think this will finish off our first card so just a little bit of, so we've got the bling layer here and just not so, so your eyes not totally drawn away from the sentiment, just bringing in a bit more shine. For a pop, that's right, Bobby, that's right. I do, the brush metallics dots would have worked as well, as would the rustic ones. The rustic ones would have worked as well. But I love the pop of gold. So I think that is a really regal special card. Okay, so that's card one. Now, card two. And I already know what embellishment I'm going to. My upline's ringing me. Not a good time. Not a good time. I am thinking of going for my favourite sentiments, which would be Cottage Rose. So tell me which sentiments, and I'm going to use this for both of the next cards. Tell me which sentiments I should use. So obviously top two win, not that there's winning and losing, but top two get it. 
just while I cut these card fronts. So I'm kind of going to do these two as one, if that makes sense. So cut it at the 10. This is the brush strokes paper. So just half a centimetre smaller or if you're using imperial and leather sized um, card bases, you want to use a quarter of an inch smaller to your card front. I'm cutting the purple. This is the Pretty Prince. So lovely, beautiful nature theme, but just... Absolutely stunning. Now, if I wanted to, I could easily tint this. Um, I could use, wrong piece. I could use a sponge, uh, not a sponge, a blending brush and tint these to match. So I could do a very light, um, I could do a very light on here, but I'm not going to because I kind of like this and then i will tone it back on our sentiment so you've got that real pop but you've still got those gorgeous colors underneath ah uh, yes it is it's the six by six because i can't put my hand on it because it's buried it's the six by six real red and white glimmer paper so this is in the mini catalog paula Uh, I like feel better and best wishes. Okay, you were the first one. I know any of the sentiments are nice. So best wishes and feel better real soon. Okay, best wishes, feel better real soon. Now, which for which? Because that could just be... A little one just there. We could just, rather than going the middle, we could just keep it low and um, do that. And then that makes it more of the statement. So if we were looking at Knight of Navy, I'm thinking that a balmy blue sentiment... Maybe, oh no, a starry skin. No, bit. Mm. I'm trying to work out, and do you know what? Just use your colour chart, Ellen. Um, now, this is where I wish we had some of the old colours we used to have. Maybe I just. I was thinking of stamping Night of Navy on Barmy Wood. So if I get the balmy blue paper, that's going to tell me everything I need, isn't it? So see, they look lovely together. And if I stamp it in Night of Navy, we're keeping that Night of Navy, but just adding in a little bit of interest with the lighter colour. Thank you, Bobby. You're the best. I know you already know that. Okay, one of our amazing blocks that have the comfort edge and everyone needs these in their collection. Now, I'm doing this kind of sight unseen. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to flip this over because there are two sides to a piece of cardstock. That is better. Often our first stamping is kind of our false start. And then when you ink it up the second time, there's already a part layer of ink there. And then when you stamp it the second time, you get a result like that. Now, if I go... I'm just thinking which colour I go for that. 
I know we were talking saying there's rich razzleberry in there. So I could use blackberry bliss on a piece of rich razzleberry. There we go. See, that goes perfect. So that Stampin' Up! really have thought of everything. So they think about our perfect pairing. So to make it easier for, for us to go, oh, I want to use this colour, but I don't want to use three layers of this colour. Okay. So I've done this one. Then we've got to find labels for this, which shouldn't be as hard because we already have our labels out. So there's that. I don't even have a spare piece of paper around at the moment. I can't, there's not one where there normally is one. Damn. That's okay. This has two sides. So I'm going to leave it there for a couple of seconds for, yeah, and try the other side. Just the B and the E are a little light on with their ink coverage. So give this a really good go. Just try and get even pressure. Just hold it there. So don't rock and go to town. That's not perfect, but that's fine. That is totally usable. It's a handmade card. It's not Hallmark. And what I'm thinking is possibly using the two colours that we've used for the sentiment. Oh no, we could use white again. And I think we're going all landscape. We'll see what, what pans out. Um, now, a lot of you were liking this for our Merry Christmas. So let's see if this will work for both our sentiments. Because if we just use like this one label die set, it well, works for that one. And... Does it feel better? It works for both of them quite well. It's not an odd, um, it's not an odd looking space around the label for either. Now, if I wanted to, I could use my mini machine to cut these out, but I'm not going to just because I already have my stamp and cut and emboss machine here out ready to use. So we're just going to use that. Oh, that's okay, Corinne. I'm not going to stop you changing a baby diaper. I prefer it changed than to smell the smell. I have to tell you a memory that just popped in my head. I reckon out of five adults in a house, I was always the person that could smell when my child had soiled themselves always no one else could ever smell it they go no they haven't ellen and i go yeah they have and someone would check or i check and i go see talk to you and this has that beautiful embossed edge again i do love that it's just that extra touch with the embossed edges i just oh gorgeous just really, really makes it and elevates a simple die cut shape to the next level. Now, I can't do this this way. I need to see it straight on. And what I'm lining up here, I'm looking at the real soon. And I'm trying to line that up as straight as I can. I think that looks okay. If not, it's going to be that. Yeah, it looks good on the screen. That's fine. Oh, yes. The, she wiggles so much. Yes, Frankie. Franklin is in the wiggling stage as well. And um, Thea is finding it incredibly annoying when changing nappies. So we don't call them diapers, we call them nappies. Now tell me if you think these iridescent 
um, these iridescent ones may work on these cards. I know there's no iridescence in the um, in the glimmer, but it may just work. Now, before I get a wriggle on here, I'm going to decide whether I want a portrait or a landscape. So these are a little bigger than what I anticipated, but I think we can do a portrait, which means this piece of paper is not going to work. It's not a full piece of paper. It would have worked for a landscape card, but a little bit has been cut off the top. Okay, so for this I score lengthways, so this is for a side folding portrait card. I love having my, um, I love having my folds on the side of the card. Um, whether it's portrait or landscape, that's what I prefer. And then I shall cut this and I have two card bases, one for later, one for now. So this is why, and or I can use some of our basic, um, our basic matte dots. Um, they would look really, really nice as well and just make gonna make an executive decision without checking and make this one portrait as well so score in half lengthways so we're going to owen's favorite um his favorite italian restaurant that has all you can eat pasta tonight i've already procured the ice cream cake with chocolate freddos in them so all the oddies who watch me will know what a freddo ice cream cake is do you guys have freddo chocolate freddo frogs and no it's not a harry potter thing they were around way 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 before harry potter now who has stolen no one stole it or someone just put it back um, and it has mini chocolate frogs through the multi-flavoured ice cream cake. <laughs> Miss Wiggles, that's cute. Yes, Cindy, I think you need the Artisan Editions die set as well. And really, I've only used one in here. The other one, the lines one, wherever the, I'll bring it in at the end. The lines one is really, really great for um, creating texture on masculine cards. So, we will see. Oh, yes, gorgeous. So, keeping this one really monochromatic. So, because we've got the white in here, we didn't need a white card base. Now, I think I, I think wet glue is actually going to bubble under this paper. So I'm going to use our stamp and seal. David, David, yeah. what time's Lab's next exam? I'm just keeping an eye on the time. Sorry, parenting still happens even though I'm live with you guys. Pardon? Okay. Just check with her what time she wants to go. Oh, I put that down in the right spot first time with no wet wiggle glue. <laughs> See, I can do things sometimes. So I don't have to worry because it's such thin specialty paper. I don't need to worry about any bubbling. This one, though, I will just use our normal glue because it's normal designer series paper. And I know exactly how it's going to act. Like, that's why I know 
the amount of glue that I use with vellum, um, I don't use wet glue at all uh, because I get buckling. I know other people have different experiences, but not me. And that's my personal rule. I love that Blackberry Bliss on the Rich Razzleberry. Jeez, that looks good. So I've got our two card bases. Do a final check for any bits. And there isn't. So yes, this is, I think it's a two and a half hour music exam this afternoon. And they call it the oral exam. So the kids have already done their performances. And um, now we've got the oral exam. So, yeah. I am going to have to glue in here this time because um, that will be seen. We're on the other card. That bit in the middle, I notice was lifted. But we can't have it lifted on this one. Okay. So these... You get to a point where these come together really quickly. Okay, so that's, that's pretty close if I do say so myself. Now I am going to add my two F uh, my two F blocks just to hold that down. And then I'm going to do the next one. Eh. Oh, I do have an extra piece. I knew I had an extra piece. I'd spied somewhere. Okay. I just use a silicone mat. So if I go over, I um, don't get glue over my project. And glue around here. Hold my sleeve. I know one of my team members always worries, but I will get glue on my sleeves. But as far as I notice, I never ever do. But there was one shirt I used to own that has long gone to charity because it's way too big that had like bell sleeves on it. I never did get it. That now has glue all over it. Um, I never did get it in anything, but she was always so worried. Poor Miss Helen. I, I do worry her often. Okay, so this just needs a bit of a wibble wobble that way. I think we're good. Okay, this one, this one... I don't have any big ones, but do you know what? I'm going to use my black big ones because we are using a darker background. So the black will actually go really nicely. <gasps> oh, that's fine. I was going to say, no, that's the wrong edge. But it's just the back. Okay. Two is going to be perfect and you if you look at it from the side it's just going to be dark okay now we hadn't worked out where we would like this but I'm thinking this one just off the edge a little bit here whilst showing some of that at the bottom really nice simple that is something even though it's all blingy i would happily give that as to a male because it's got that masculine look okay oh that is totally crooked that is really badly crooked no one have a look at that please i don't know whether i knocked it or what but it's crooked Thank you. We haven't even got to embellishments yet. And I must remember to replace my um, dimensionals because I've only got mini ones in here at the moment. And we're on a roll and I just want to get this done. Let you guys get on with your evenings and days and go from now.
upside down is not going to work. Now this one, I kind of wanted just like that along there. So same die, different sentiments, two different placements. Now, white embellishments. Well, I do have balmy blue ones here. So that's in the solid faceted gems. Could use some pearls, but I'm not going to because I'm saving those for a project. So these are too creamy. The elegant faceted gems are too creamy. So there you go. These were the other ones I was thinking of. The classic matte dots. So we kind of have three options. The classic matte dots in the white. And I've got the balmy blue there. But I could even make those white ones. I could colour them with Blackberry Bliss um, blend, actually. I've still I've got the white iridescent ones. Now, let me look at the comments. Ah, uh, no, we have brushed metallic dots, Bobby. We have no issues with brushed metallic dots. None at all. Uh, yes, well, they're similar. They're similar. I've used the same sentiment set. Um, yeah, they're just different colours. But the, the only difference is the base colour. I don't, I think that's too matchy-matchy. So I'm going to put the solid faceted gems away. I still think, whilst these are beautiful, they have iridescence, which isn't quite what I'm after because I don't want to compete with the um, glimmer. Okay, so they're away. I did try and use them because they're gorgeous. We use the gold ones. Um, bum, bum, bum. Gotcha. So this is literally just on the sentiment to bring the focus back to the sentiment. That's all we want to do. Just bring the focus back here to the sentiment. Although, I think I need to put another dimensional under here because we're collapsing at the bottom. This one's fine. This one is not. So, for an issue like this, I put the dimensional on something. Here, I'm just using a pair of scissors. I take, I endeavour to take the backing off so both sides are sticky and of course it doesn't want it doesn't want to come off okay let's tell it who's boss I've just got my little maduva over here right got it off and I'm just going to lift this up and slide this in there, I'm going to put it in the middle, and now that's sitting up. So you can see how just those little dots bring the focus back to the sentiment. Because whilst everything else is beautiful, you want someone to read the reason for the card. Because the reason for the card is important. Because it's the beginning of conveying the message that you've stamped or written on the inside. Now, of course, I could have coloured these with blends. Um, that would have worked really, really well. But we didn't because we've used the white glimmer paper. Okay, now let's go through. That's all our cards. We've made three cards in, I'd say, an hour and 15 minutes because we had a bit of chat at the start and my phone is going crazy today. Apparently, I get rid of them by answering the phone. 
I'm still asking people to send cards. Oh, send me his address, Corinne, and I will I will endeavour to um, pop something in the mail. So, what did we use today? Oh, actually, yes, what did we use? I've got to find, where's my other stamp set? So, we used Cottage Rose and Brightest Glow stamp sets, okay? And our... Our main cutout is from the Artisan Editions dies. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do this so I have enough room for everything. So we use Artisan Editions for all of our sentiment cutouts. Oh, shivers. Oh. Put the die back in its home. We used the painted labels dies. So we use both the large and the small. Embellishment wise, we used now these are the adhesive back seasonal sequins. These are in the mini catalog. So we use those. We used the Classic matte dots. These are out of the annual catalogue. Now, I think the only stamp set, this is in the mini, this is in the annual. And we use the Amazing Glimmer paper. So we used, it's the real red and white glimmer paper. It's six by six. It's in the mini catalogue. So the papers I've used is the brushed, brushed what? I can't find it. I've got stuff kamikazing onto my floor. Brush stroke. So the brush stroke designer series paper, we've used Bowls of Holly and we have used the painted, no, it's not painted. It is Pretty Prints. The Pretty Prints and that comes with three colours. Yes, please do, Cindy. I hope you will enjoy it. Yes, I send out a lot, a lot of cards. Um, you can always ring DS uh, Bobby and they'll give you an answer. Or if you're not a demonstrator, you can contact your friendly demonstrator. So a close look at the cards. This is our Bowls of Holly um, card with the brightest glow. This is our Pretty Prince with the Cottage Rose. Good luck, mate. And brush strokes with cottage rose again. So they're the three cards we created today. Um, if you want any more information and I haven't provided it, please just ask and I will endeavor to get that to you. And if not, <laughs> thank you, Jen. Thank you. And um, if not, please consider joining me on Tuesday when I will be live next over on my Facebook page. I will pop the replay up here um, later after I have been live. I will pop it up here for everyone to see. So have an amazing weekend. I'm hoping to get some um, projects done. I feel ahead of things at the moment, but I just want to get some things um, done and out of the way. So I hope you can carve out some crafty time. If you want to purchase these products, I have a link in the description or I have a pinned post in the live chat. Be good and I will see you soon. Bye.